holy shit, man, what's going on, everybody, yo? Like, the camera was just so dark before us, I was concerned. I'm like, yo, are people even going to be able to see me? But you know what? It's all good, though, because, you know, in the subconscious realm, we're all learning to see stuff. And, you know, sometimes we got to be aware of our subconscious transitions, our subconscious thoughts and feelings that influence our conscious behavior. So we can actually influence ourselves to become a greater version of who we currently are, a.k.a. take a lesser light and replace it with a greater light. So what do I mean by this, right? Now... I had this thought. I had this train of thought today, where like, damn, I really need to embody the attitude, right? Because you are what you embody. Like the mental body, the mental form that we embody, as far as the thoughts and feelings that we inject, that come, whatever you put in, come out. We've already became something, but that thing that we have become is not really uh, a ref it's not really a reflection of our highest possible potential or highest possible good a lot of the time is the things or the programs that we run behind closed doors just be like fear-based programs be like stress warrior programs things that are actually be low-key designed to kill you slowly and keep you docile and keep you in a position where you don't necessarily take action and actually take charge of your life you really just sit back and allow someone else to take charge of your life and now actually uh you know what i'm saying not actually be involved in your own life because a lot of people is what are, man an old man told me at work friday oh i come to work every day and it's like a, it's a bunch of fucking zombies yeah no shit everyone is just a zombie like whatever light whatever conscious form that's guiding most people in their life be some shit on the third dimension that don't have nothing to do with god but be like a thought from man like man said oh wake up and go to work and you better work for this corporation and you need this retirement money now who knows you might Find a whole new way to do that. God was, God is all that's possible. So if we limit what's possible based on what man told us, based on what man thought us, based on what man indoctrinated us into, then we're truly just going to limit our experience in life, who we, who we can be and who we will be. AKA will be ran under an algorithm system, under an information system, AKA you can call, you can call it the matrix. It's just really a bunch of different ways of um, calculating different metrics of people's psyche, seeing what people react to, and seeing how people act in certain circumstances, and that's how they decide what events they should inject into society. Now, a lot of people will sit back and be like, hold on, man, what does that even mean? That's how pseudo, pseudo. Now, you gotta understand, if you're running the world, you're, you're doing some next shit so deeply that the average person will not understand for you to even hold power. Think about, um, think about even the story of Jesus and shit like that. You know how many people try to take down Jesus and his journey? Whether we're talking about it exoterically or esoterically and shit like that. But I'm talking about it exoterically right now. Let's say the person that was walking around doing these things and blah. And it was probably like multiple people and shit like that. Do you know what type of belief these people had to even have in their mind for them to even achieve the things that they have achieved? Like, you can't be no average human and do, and do that shit. Because you can't. Because the belief that most people carry is subservient belief it think it's things that makes them get on their knees and there's nothing even wrong with that but people, people get on their knees for the wrong reason people get on their knees for a golem for someone else's like um idea someone else's perception someone else's worldview we gotta understand how these worldviews are even derived derived from we're all deriving a worldview every day how we live our life when we deal with people we're deriving a way of viewing the world when you deal with someone you might be like hmm this person is a snake you okay let me let me remember his nature because we're all deriving a worldview off of the interaction from each other and we're deriving a worldview via the interactions of the different atmosphere, atmospheres in the sky, like the sun, the moon, and the transitioning of these things are making us aware of new things via their alignments with other planets. So we're really just uh, riding pathways and shit like that. We'll be, and God be trying to remind us of what we're here to do. A lot of the times we know what we're here to do, but a lot of the times we can allow embodying a lower a animalistic attitude to stop us from what we're here actually to do on an angelic higher level. Because we're here to achieve our highest potential and shit like that we're here man we're here to even like define nature the thing is about imagination imagination defies nature right like you can have you could be dealing at your work the nature of your job you could be dealing with your religion oh then this is just the nature of my religion oh I, I had even like certain certain like muslims from like certain tribes and shit like that tell me like like they basically like to give into their religion especially like different sects like i had a, I had a buddy who was like an ahmadi and shit like that and he was trying to sit back and justify why he needs to stay back, which is basically a sect of Islam, but it's one of those like weird ones or whatever. But anyway, it's not going to get into that. Um, yeah, so basically, this dude should sit there and just be like, yeah, no, nah, this is just the way my people do things. And, you know, I need to get get an arranged marriage. And, you know, yeah, you know, like, this is just uh, this is my life and I got to accept this and shit. And he would, he would tell me about, you know, how he wanted to leave, how he wanted not to be a part of it. But he never had the courage to take action because 
<laughs> low key. That's what all religious people do. They're gonna sit back and practice some type of shame, guilt, uh, a ritual spell on you so you can feel bad from even leaving that system in the first place. Like real shit. So it's like, if you allow someone else to tell you what attitude to embody, if you allow someone else's projections to hit your uh, goddamn chakras, to hit your mind and shit like that, and you're actually taking that shit on and you're playing that out and you're being that character, that's like that's like somebody who's accepting being a part of someone else's play, right? You should we should be the directors of our own play. So you should be telling yourself what you want to see, what you want to feel. Now I'm saying what you want to experience. But a lot of the times it's just embodying these old attitudes that make that may come from traumas. It could come from like depending on how your life was lived. You may be part of an uh, you know a scientific institutions, and you can just embody the you can become the embodiment of fucking logic and practicality, and you might completely lose sight of your right brain your imagination because that's how we personally speculatively interpret things down to even like the dna that's just someone else's representation of what's going on no one actually has seen fucking dna like no one has seen these things people just talk about these things people just give create like hypotheticals about these things just based on like understanding like holistic truths but see science but see that's the thing though it's like the shadow government they purposely do that they purposely get people's law people lost and like either left or right democrat republican conservative liberal or, you know, whatever geographical location you may be on. The thing is, whatever geographical location that you're on, it's presenting that things may be only done in this pop in, in this way, right? So I think even in Montreal, for example, right? A lot of the girls there are like prostitutes or like hookers and shit like that. And they think that's the only way for them to get money. The thing is, like, they made pussy uh, so devalued, it's like girls just give it away like it's nothing. That's actually kind of fucking crazy. But that's what I'm saying, like... People are allowing the shadow government to let them, like, people are allowing the shadow government to, to have them embody a certain attitude, have them think, like, oh, things can only be done this way. Oh, if I'm not a hoe, if I don't get an OnlyFans, that means I'm not going to be able to get this goddamn Benz. And that's even a waste of fucking time. Because you got to understand, that's something that a man made. Like, you got to understand generational wealth. You got to understand, like, what even sparked someone to create that product. Because who said you can't even create a product that's more valuable than that? That's even delivered at a way lower price. And I'm, I'm not just talking about automobile. I'm talking about just anything in general that's true. You might even create a new recycled product that the government... Because, you know, you get the whole recycling scam, for example, where the government just fucking tells you, oh, yeah, we need... There's a climate change, blah, blah, blah. We need electric cars, blah, blah, blah. But yet, the lithium that they dig up, and you need, like, a lot more diesel to dig that shit up. And then even if they're... Even if they got an electric bus or an electric car, you might see a motherfucker charging that shit with a diesel engine. So it's like shit just be so fucking backwards. People just don't be looking at why is someone else sitting back trying to make you embody a certain attitude, right? Like, for example, we have in Canada, we have here motherfucking Justin Trudeau. He's trying to tell us some shit like, oh, you know, gas is not good. You got to go use more electricity, blah, 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 which I'm truly not concerned about. What I'm saying is that's someone else trying to tell you what to do with your space and time. And sometimes these things don't even matter. What we really need to be concerned about is our, is our spirit, is our soul, our, our mental body that we create. Because if we don't embody the attitude we want, we're always, we're always going to embody the attitude of someone else. Because people really, people literally think just because someone is wearing a motherfucking tie, people think it's because somebody looks like a motherfucking authority figure. Even if it's your boss at work, who gives a fuck? It's about who is the bigger spirit. Because the bigger spirit will always influence the lesser spirit. So you got to learn to be bigger in a world where everyone is smaller. Because in this world... You're either going to be a, a titan or you're going to get motherfucking mauled, bruh. Someone else's intellectual property, someone else's idea, someone else's thoughts, someone else's expansive awareness of the world is going to crush you if you're not big enough. And a lot of the times, it just gets into morality and shit like that. Because once you're an aware spirit, you know what you're doing, both positive and negative. And even those things get really conflated and shit like that, even with the shadow garbage and shit, right? But that's a whole other topic, man. But yeah, anyways, always embody the attitude that allows you to achieve your highest possible good get out of the fear programming that is inherently within the worry the stress or the overly logical program or the overly speculative creative program those things don't allow you to truly be holistic those things don't allow you to actually use the full nature of who you are these things don't actually allow you to commune with the world around you to its full capacity to, the, to its full possibility because we just narrow our view of perception based on what other people tell us so you know what i'm saying let's say for example um i could be at work you might look at me like oh man yeah you must be a drug dealer yeah you must be a thug yeah you must be this you must be that yeah i i've seen your people on tv with shit like that but 
Me being a Pisces moon, I might literally sit back and react to that and be like, you know what, man? I'm going to be exactly what you guys want me to be. Fuck it. But if I do that, I'm doing it for more so purpose of like harnessing energy. So for example, right, I had this idea. Since everyone at work looks at me that way anyways, I'm like, okay, let me just get a gold, a fake, a big ass gold fucking chain. Let me get a, some big ass glasses and shit like that with gold on them. Fake gold, obviously. But the reason why I say I'm harnessing energy regardless is because I have a bunch of people at work at the corporate level, <laughs> at the lower level, looking at me like, this nigga must be a drug dealer. So it doesn't matter if they hate you or not. All that attention, all those thoughts and feelings that they direct, they, they're directing towards you, those are just, that's just energy you can harness. So that's just free attention and shit. Like, so you can do whatever you want to do with that. It's like you get like more juice and shit like that. God be like, oh shit, that's a person that can transmute energy. Look at that bad motherfucker and shit, right? So, but I'll kind of make sure I'm not doing it for like an ego type purpose and shit like that to be like, you know, but I'm more so going to do that for harnessing energy. But you see what I'm saying? Like, embody a bigger attitude than you have at your workplace embody a bigger attitude than what's available at home embody a bigger attitude than what the world tells you is is is, is possible you really gotta believe <laughs> you really gotta believe a higher standard than the standards that are presented to you by society because if we live by the standards that that society presented us then we're forever gonna be under someone else's foot we're forever not gonna create no intellectual property we're forever not gonna become unique or anything like we're forever not gonna ascend or nothing we'll just be like a bunch of like semen demons like Mooney Mercury Baby. Shout the Mooney Mercury Baby. Oh, you a bunch of semen demons running around not knowing what the fuck is going on. But see, that's that's but at this point, I think all people really know what's going on. But at this point, it's really up to people to decide like what's worth it and what's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like the government can't even do this shit if we don't show them that we're aware. So it's like it's literally just like a battle. It's literally just a tug of war. And since a lot of people are divided in these denominations. They can just sit back at the at the top of the parade and look at what's going to happen, how these different groups of people are going to interact. Because a lot of my studies have to do with, like, not just, not in school. I'm talking about, like, from esoteric shit, like what I'm actually here to do in a comp. So a lot of my studies have to do with, like, learning about different groups, how different groups of people interact and shit like that. So it's kind of like, we're like to sit back and understand and observe subconsciously without even me knowing and shit like that. So, because I got, like, a lot of energies in the 11th house, too, and shit like that. So, yeah, Aquarius. But yeah, embody the attitude you want. Don't let nobody tell you what the fuck to embody. Because shit, they'll have you fucked up. Better believe that. Because why am I going to have you embody something that's greater than me? Unless I'm not... No There's a birdie! A birdie came by my window. I think this is a, a message from the gods. But anyways, peace out. I'm gone.